Hey folks, welcome to the podcast about proof of ancient machines. In this episode, I'm going to share with you part of an actual ancient machine that I found that definitively proves that ancient technology existed. So join me for the episode and watch this ancient machine. Ancient jars and ancient columns were made by turning them on a lathe. And that's what I found is a lathe tool. And what I mean by a lathe tool is I found the actual cutting tip that does the cutting when the, the part is in the lathe. So I found the actual point. And that's what I want to show you in this video is that in ancient times that mechanical machine lathes existed and they left the worn out cutting tips that they left them behind for us to find and to know that that's what they were doing. This item was discovered in North America and it's the most conclusive evidence of ancient machines ever found. And after you watch this video, I certainly hope that you'll agree with me. Look at this tool that I found. You can see the parallel elements of this tool right here. It's a really worn cutting tip. Yeah, this is a lathe insert. This stone is specially shaped and configured to be used as a lathe cutting tip. Try to show you all views of it, all angles. Yeah, folks, so this is what I believe to be a lathe insert. And it exactly mimics a lathe tool. And you can even see, you see the layering that runs this way across the stone. So it has a lot of strength. And in this direction, it has a lot of strength. You know, if you work downwards onto the tool, onto the top of the tool, it has you know strength across the back here so that it wouldn't snap in the case of using it as a lathe tool. And the tip of this is even severely worn. So I, I can plainly see that this thing has been used, that it was once sharp right here on this edge, and that that sharp edge has been ground completely off to the point where the tool is no longer useful and it was cast away. You can see it's just made out of a gray glassy kind of stone. It's a yeah. So, see every every face of it has the perfect beveled angle to utilize this as a as a lathe tool insert or you know the actual cutting tip. This is the actual the actual point that did the cutting on a lathe. And so this ladies and gentlemen is absolute definitive proof of ancient technology. Notice that all sides of this stone are formed into a parallelogram. I'll say more about this later on in the video. So as you can see, just every angle on this tool is perfectly organized to be able to use it as a lathe insert. Yeah, so this is the actual cutting tip that did the cutting in the lathe. See every every face of it is a parallelogram which is exactly what you need for a cutting tool. And the only reason you would make this a parallelogram 
of this type is to use it as a cutting tool and even I can plainly see that the, the cutting tip has been worn completely off this was once sharp and came out to a point you can see it's just kind of worn right off so this right here folks is absolute definitive proof of ancient technology and I'm showing it to you right here archaeologists say where are the tools well here one is right here I'm showing it to you this is one of the tools see I'll say it again every face of this is a parallelogram yeah, it's like a square that's been tweaked into a diamond shape see turn it up that way it's a diamond shape so, which is really, you know, a diamond is a parallelogram. And that diamond shape gives this tool strength when, when it's mounted in the, in the tool and your work is coming down on top of it, this, this has strength. See, because of the diagonal that forms between this corner and that corner, the pressure is diverted to the corners of the tool and that gives this tool the strength to operate without snapping off so the only purpose for doing that would be to, to employ this as a lathe insert which is a cutting tip to do the actual cutting that a lathe does you know a turning lathe so if you're thinking of giant roman columns and giant Egyptian columns you're looking at a cutting tip that could have made one of those tool one of those items see just every every face on it is a parallelogram and that can only be cutting tool technology even as we know it today this is cutting tool technology This tool right here may very well have been another type of lathe machine tool. Yeah, it's perfectly suited. You turn it upside down like that and use it to cut into a work surface. Use this part to do the cutting. Well, this kind of thing could have been a a lathe tool also and you know there's numerous representations of it so this right here is a really hard quartzite type stone that some people call white diamonds and yeah it's an ocean stone and you know it's, it sits among the ocean jasper type stones So with that tool shape, that tool shape is really common. So I think these right here were lathe cutting tips also. And this right here is a stone that has a saw cut on it. And yeah, you know, this this face was cut that face was cut and you see it's square you know it's perfectly square yeah, so those are saw marks on those two faces and the rest of these faces you know it's just a roughly cracked out stone so there's a saw cut Here's another one. Some people call that the devil's chair right there. This stone right here. 
call it the devil's chair, but this stone has had a couple different saw cuts. You can see it, there's a saw cut right there, and that was snapped off. And then this here was snapped off, and this was cut, and you can still you look at it just the right angle in the light you can still see striation lines on it right there not fracture striations but tooth drag striations yeah, look at this here this one has all perfectly square edges on it square faces it was broken off on this side. But this is another tool type right here. I haven't actually figured out what this was for. It's not a cutting tip. And then, then we get to this right here. Now this tool right here. It looks like it'd be a really genius oyster shucker. And yeah, this would do a great job of shucking oysters. But I think it was actually uh, another lathe cutting tool of some sort. And this is exactly the condition that I found it in. That's exactly the way I found it. But the place I found that, this, this was laying just not even two meters away. So I found both of those stones together within a matter of minutes of each other. So, yeah. But the feature of this video, folks, isn't those stones right there. But it's this one right here. This this stone right here is an actual cutting point for a lathe Here's another representation. The stone has a saw cut right in the very end of it. And it just laid out in the weather for a very, very long time and ice, ice made it crack in half. You see what's inside. Two thin flat sheets of stone. But seeing that saw cut right in the end right there, Gives us a clever glimpse into how these stones are being snapped into such thin pieces. So, this is a mystery stone here that I'm still coming up with a theory for why it was done that way. And these stones are neat. When you break them open, there's always an image inside them. Like this one's almost faded now. But there's usually an image of some sort that people find to be pleasing. You can investigate that elsewhere. Here's another stone. Saw cuts. It shows the use of saw cuts and, and brake, brake planes to complete a single piece. So it would be cut one way and snapped off the other direction. Yeah, it'd be cut one way and then snapped off the other direction is how they made these. This is another really hard mineral. This one is seven on the scale. 
okay, you can see it kind of shine like a sapphire almost and it used to have a sharp point cut on the end of it an arrow point so yeah I think this was another one of those cutting tips that was used until it was worn out and thrown away and this one is super hard this one will cut any of these other stones that you're looking at this stone will cut every one of those stones because it's so much harder but yeah this this right here this this is some good ancient technology right here